I lost over 7k in the first four months of my trading journey because I didn't know fundamental analysis, closing session, opening session, and risk management. If you haven't started trading or you're just getting started or you need some help, let me give you some helpful recommendation. Let me get this straightforward. Learn as much as you can. If I educated myself more when I just started trading, I wouldn't have lost that 7k and I actually had that into my account right now. Could have enjoyed it, right? First, let's start with news. There are some news that are too risky. You can't predict it. We don't trade during that time. Some of them are not. The ones that are risky, you can use to avoid trading during that time that can actually save you a lot of money. And the other ones that are not risky and predictable, you can use them to make money. Most of news are basically monthly or yearly or every quarter of the year. They collect the previous data and they set an expectation. And if the outcome and result is higher and lower, it's going to affect the market. Let me give you an example. For example, there is a US news about inflation rate of United States. If the inflation rate is lower than expectation, it means actually it's good for the society and economy which can actually help you for the US dollar index. On the other hand, employment rate. For example, they set the employment rate at 54% and the outcome and result is actually higher, 58%, 59%, 60%. That means the, the outcome was higher than expectation, which can actually be really helpful for the US market and US dollar index. There are five different types of trading news that actually affect the market. First one is economic indicator. There are more of the employment rate, inflation figures, growth rate, GDP growth rate, and trading balance. They can strongly change the market trend as well. The second one is monetary policy. Something like central bank actions, interest rate decisions, quantitative easing programs. They also have a quite impact. Those are actually the ones that create fair value gaps and hit all buy side and sell side liquidity, which is really risky to trade on. Um, third one is political news like elections, political events, and geopolitical tension between the countries. And the last item that is really important to take care of is FOMC, Federal Open Market Committee. The people under this committee usually meet several times a year and they do important monetary policies, decisions such as interest rate, economic growth, inflation, and they make huge announcements regarding charges, interest rate, or forward guidance. And during the FOMC, we always see the most impact on currency market particularly for the US dollar. Knowing all of that makes you think before you open your trade so you actually should open your trade and then you should avoid trading at all. It's really important to know when a session starts and when a session finishes. Well, in different sessions, there are different bank trading, different retail trader trading, and they all have different trading strategy and different trading target. So it's really important to know what time open, open, you open your order and what time you should close it. The mistake that I made that caused me to lose a lot of money was that I didn't think and study about when a market opens and when it does close. To give you a better idea, if you open an order during London session and wait till the end of US session, the market trend in 5 and 15 minutes chart, it keeps constantly changing. So you never know if you're going to be in a huge loss or a huge profit. That's why you should know what time you're trading. Let me give you an idea to understand it even better. So what I do is that now I start trading at 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern time. This means that I wait for US market to open and I only trade kill zones. Actually, I usually trade after 1 p.m. recently, 12.30 to 1.30. I just want to trade kill zones because the risk is lower for me, the way I understand the market and made me a lot of profit at the same time. The third item that made me lose so much money is risk management. 
In my opinion, this is the most important one and everyone should know how to do a proper risk management during the trading. Otherwise, they're going to lose all of their money. Risk management contains five significant key position sizing, risk to reward ratio, stop loss, take profit and controlling your emotion during opening and closing your order. My mistake was not knowing position sizing and don't putting a stop loss and also not putting the stop loss in the proper position. So when you're just starting trading, make sure that you're not risking a lot of money in from your account. So I would go with if you just starting trading and you first time putting money, 1% even less if you can. I don't want you to risk a lot of money at the beginning. You're not going to be that profitable because your trading strategy is not completely set yet. And if you risk way too much percentage of your account, you're going to lose too much money, which makes you really scared from continuing your trading. So from the beginning, stop loss, 1% risk per trade. Second item, take profit is really important, guys. You're not going to become millionaire from a thousand dollar account in two days. So if you're in profit for like two to four percent, not even like, like two to four percent, take your profit for that day and call it a day. If you make consistent profit and stop over trading and over holding your trade, you're actually going to be profitable. But if you just keeping it and keep putting like even keep putting it in that center and just holding it for a few days, few hours, just for because you have this mindset that's going to make you a millionaire in one day, you're going to lose it all eventually. It's really important to be able to take profit and close your orders at the right time. The Forex market is a really liquidated market. So the market keeps going up, down, up, down, up, down. So everyone's orders open, everyone's sell stop activated and everyone's buy stop activated. That's why you have to take your profit as soon as you can and not overhold or over trade it. Also focus on being disciplined. Right now, take a piece of paper, write what you're gonna do. Write that if I see that my order is in 2% profit, I'm gonna close my order right there and stick to it. Glue it on your wall in front of your laptop. So every time you're trading on your laptop, you're actually seeing what are your rules for yourself. So if the rules is that you're not going to over trade, you're not going to open more than two trades a day, you're going to follow that. That's what actually makes you not over trading and not over holding your order, which actually makes you really profitable. Before I finish the video, I want to do a giveaway soon. But in order to do that, I want to make sure that one of my videos is getting at least 10,000 likes. So if this video get 10,000 likes, I'm going to be dropping a giveaway in my next video. And it's going to be either a funded account, a Forex account, or I'm just going to PayPal you the money. For now, it's good. We covered a few subjects. I'm going to talk about them more in details later on. But as a beginner, these are all you need to know. These are actually really good to know. If I knew this all of stuff, I wouldn't have lost 7K. So you're one step ahead of me already, right? So take care, guys. See you later. Bye.